proteins are made up of folded polypeptide chains, which are composed of 20 different amino acids, each with different chemical properties, that are linked to each other via covalent peptide bonds. The sequence of atoms repeating to form the peptide bonds is called the polypeptide backbone. The side chain of each amino acid, which is the part that makes it different from the other 19 amino acids, can be either polar or nonpolar. The polypeptide chain can fold in many different ways called conformations. Conformations are the spatial arrangement of atoms that can result from movement of atoms without breaking of bonds. Protein structure can be described in terms of four levels of organization, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structure. The primary structure is simply the amino acid sequence of the polypeptide chain, and it is important to remember that this sequence contains all the information necessary for the higher orders of structure. The secondary structure is formed by hydrogen bond interactions of adjacent amino acids. Large numbers of such local interactions form alpha helices and beta pleated sheets. The tertiary structure is a more compact three dimensional shape. Large proteins often consist of several protein domains, which are distinct structural units that fold somewhat independently from one another. Quaternary structure is found in those proteins that have two or more interacting polypeptide chains, which are then termed subunits. Secondary structures include alpha helices and beta sheets. An alpha helix occurs where a polypeptide chain coils like a spring, with one turn every 3.6 amino acids. In alpha helices, the NH of a peptide bond is hydrogen bonded to the C double bond O of another peptide bond which is one coil up in the helix structure. Note also that all the NH groups point in one direction, towards the N terminus, and all the C double bond O groups point in the opposite direction, towards the C terminus, and this is what gives the polypeptide chain polarity. The C terminus is partially positively charged, while the N terminus is partially negatively charged. Beta sheets can form parallel chains, which are made from neighboring chains running in the same direction, or anti-parallel chains, which are made from a polypeptide chain that folds back and forth on itself so that nearby sections run in opposite directions. While hydrogen bonds in an alpha helix are intrastrand, hydrogen bonds in beta sheets are interstrand. Tertiary structure formation can be nucleated by the pattern of polar and nonpolar amino acids in a polypeptide chain, which plays a central role in determining the protein's final conformation. This is because hydrophobic molecules, such as the nonpolar side chains of certain amino acids, are entropically driven together in an aqueous environment. This limits their disruption of the hydrogen bonding of surrounding water molecules. As a result, nonpolar amino acids tend to be found predominantly in the interior of proteins. Meanwhile, polar amino acids face the outside of the protein, forming hydrogen bonds with one another and with the water molecules around the protein. Those polar amino acids that are on the inside of the protein bond with one another or with the polypeptide backbone. It is thought that protein folding happens roughly along the following lines. Secondary structures form first. Hydrophobic collapse, during which nonpolar amino acids aggregate, happens next. Long-range interactions between secondary structures cause further folding to occur. Throughout this process, there may be one or more intermediate states, such as what has been termed a molten globule. As a final note, there are three basic classes of proteins, which are distinguished based on shape and solubility, globular, fibrous, and membrane proteins. Globular proteins are spherical in shape, with as little surface area per volume as possible. These proteins are marginally stable, and this marginal stability facilitates motion, which in turn enables function. Hydrophilic amino acids occupy this small surface area, making these proteins highly soluble in water. Fibrous amino acids are simple, linear structures which have structural roles and are insoluble. Lastly, membrane proteins are associated with cell membranes. If you like this video, like and subscribe. You can also support me by following the link to my Patreon. If you have any topics you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment.